What's up guys, Jackson here. You've never heard me say that or anyone say that on this channel because this is my first video. Yeah, it's a quick little tutorial that I'm gonna go through. Uh, hopefully you'll like it and you'll want more. Um, if not, then I'll take a hint and I'll bugger off. So, I'm gonna jump right into it, into this nice little text effect in completely in Photoshop. It'll take you two minutes once you've got the hang of it. Um, so yeah, go and jump into it, file new, whatever width and height you want, doesn't really matter, I'm just using this for, for the um, tutorial. Going to have a gradient, I've already got it up here, it's going to be one of, be similar to this. Um, this is about halfway, 45% of the way through, it's just black and white, that's it. Going to want to make sure the angle gradient is selected, You're going to want to click the top left, top right not over the image otherwise well, I'll show you it'll look weird, it'll look like that so you're going to want to um, just put it over like that and you get this nice little nice little shine thing, I don't know, I don't really know how to explain it so now if you want to create text um, just what, what you want to do, you want to make it so you just have one character No, per per layer basically um, so you can get the effect you'll understand why later uh, it doesn't really matter at the moment um, but yeah that, that's how you need to have it let me just sort this out yeah so obviously the, the more text that you have the more characters the longer it's going to be so try and for your own sake, just try and keep it to a minimum. That's why I've only used like a five letter word. Let's bring that into center. All right, so there you've got your text. They're all in different layers, so that's good. Gonna wanna double click this to get your layer style up. Gonna come to gradient overlay. Go choose this that I already chose before. Go change the style to angle. Go change this to zero for the moment, and you can already see the sort of bending effect that we've got here. Then I'm going to come over to drop shadow, leave that the same, leave the angle the same. Distance is going to be zero. Spread, going to change that to 18, and size I'll put up to 21. See this nice soft shadow going around it, looking good so far. So I'm going to change that to a new style. Uh, I've already got it. I've, well, I've got three different ones, um, but so but I prefer this. This is basically what I've just made. I've they're the same settings. So on each one of these, I'm gonna add that style just by double clicking. Just ignore what it's, it looks like on the screen at the moment. We're gonna fix that in a minute. Okay, so. As you can see, it has really messed up the text. It, it looks really weird. Um, so yeah, let's sort that out. All you, all, basically, all, all you have to do is go to gradient overlay and play about with the angle on this. Uh, you can change whatever you want, make it to make it brighter and less. This is supposed to be like a shadow effect, so to get a, a, a smaller shadow, just bring that like quite quite a way down before you said all the shadows are going to different places and all that but this is just this is just the effect you don't need to really it don't really matter what what direction the shadows going in really does it so just get them in like suitable places that you you feels all right you can have some shadows bigger than others to get i don't know some some other weird effect but everything looks good in my opinion maybe have this one here bring the shadow down how did I have it on this one? I had it completely different on that one never mind change is good right? Um, and for the R I think I'll have it down here again bring the shadow all the way down that's too much oh. yeah so now you've got that what I didn't do before you 
to get to add to the effect sort of um, you can just like overlap them a little bit um, makes it look a bit better I think bring that back into center that's what I did in the other one a little bit different but there we go so that's that that's the basic effect um, for the text but if you say if you wanted to add a bit of color or something like that and um, say if I wanted to add blue just get the blue fill it change the the mode to a soft light and then there you go and then you can just mess about with the opacity and stuff like that and then if you want to go even further than that you can come over into After Effects and basically you can just play around with masks and things like that um, and just get rid of everything so that that's what I ended up in the other one obviously I didn't write crystal because um, that would take too long if you want to add sort of vignette or whatever it's called go for it whatever you whatever you like just do it you know so just gonna change this about a bit and then I'll uh, come into here effect video call by optical flares obviously I've paid for it <laughs> um, <laughs> custom presets I don't really have any good ones because I hardly use this change that to a similar colour to what we're using. Let's get rid of a few of these. Get rid of that orange. Okay. Bring the scale up. And then basically there you go. You've got what I made earlier. Uh, so guys I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, my name's Jackson. Uh, you'll be seeing a lot more of me, hopefully. Thanks a lot, guys. Peace.